Kurt Chang. I'm Lily Mooney. And we're here to talk to you about the Arrow. It's kind of like if you put John Leguizamo on our stage and he did his monologue. I might ask John a question about his mom. Mask in front of John Leguizamo's face. Like Drew Carey. Yeah, he'd put a Drew Carey mask onto John Leguizamo. And be like, Drew Carey, is Bob Barker dead? Is he dead? Are you asking me or are you? <laughs> go back, go back. Uh, We each wrote a personal essay and we brought it into the room and shared it with each other and then from those essays we wrote responses um, in the form of plays or tactics to shake each other up or games. Found the peanut, found the peanut. And the show itself is going to be an attempt by the performers individually to each perform their own story while having to negotiate for time and space with the other performers. You can interrupt me. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Eh. When you start. Yeah. <laughs> the show is not improv. That's a thing to know. It's not no. improv. But a lot of things have been written and a lot of things have been planned. Fun is that we don't know what order things are going to happen in and we don't know exactly if we'll get to the points in the story that we've gotten to before and at any time someone could start a new conversation with someone but you're nice <laughs> no yeah okay I, me and lily take it Throw we all take comments. it we all take it yes come see the arrow see the first iteration the arrow quit smoking on november 19th 8 p.m here at the neo futurist theater it's $15. It's a one night only show. It's never going to happen again after the 19th, after Thursday night. We're going to do future versions of The Arrow, but the original work and the plays and the order in which everything plays out will happen for the first and only time on Thursday.